What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Connor Speed 6. Today we've got something very special. I am bringing back my ever popular Forza rivalries. Sit back, strap in, and enjoy. Again, I am Connor Speed 6. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. As you can see, I'm driving the Lancia Delta S4 because what we are going to be doing is having a little bit of a throwback to my channel and taking a Forza Rivalries look between the Lancia Delta S4 and the Audi Sport Quattro S1. Now, what we're going to be doing is taking these cars on the exact same route using Rivals to see which one is faster in A-Class up to 800. I do have tunes for both of these cars shared, so if you'd like to use them, feel free to download them. Those share codes will be in the description and pinned comment down below. The race we're going to be doing is the Cascada Trail, which starts right here on the map. And again, we're going to be running each of these one time down Cascada Trail to see which one will be the king of the rally monsters. Now, weirdly enough, the Lancia Delta S4 isn't considered a rally monster in this game, but rather retro rally, which makes no sense to me because it was one of the most insane rally cars ever built for the Group B era. But whatever the case is, it is what it's going to be. So we're going to be using this again. It's A800. And then the Audi Sport Quattro that we're going to be using is an A800 tune as well. Both of these cars are fantastic. I had to put in the V8 into the Audi Sport Quattro because unfortunately to keep it in the uh, A class, we had to put that engine in and do some certain type of build path to make it A class. So it is what it is. It doesn't sound great, but it's going to be very competitive for your A-Class Rally Racing. Without further ado, let's jump into this event and see which car is fastest. Now, when setting up the event, what I will do is cycle over to A-Class, and then I'm simply going to choose the slowest time from my friends list, which is always just somebody who is just putting together uh, some sort of run that is slow as possible, which happens to be Stonics at this time, so buddy... I'm sorry. What we'll do is we'll set that slowest time as my rival, or you can just pick any time, of course, that you know is going to be slower than the time you're going to be run, and that is pretty much that. Let's jump into it. We're going to be starting with the Lancia Delta S4. I've only taken each of these cars down Cascada Trail one time each. I did the Audi Sport Quattro first, then the Lancia Delta S4, so we're going to take the Delta S4 to start. Both of these cars, what can I say, they're fantastic. They were feats of engineering for their time. I absolutely love driving them in game. All right, so let's see what type of time I can put together on Cascada Trail. I'm hoping under 221, under 220, somewhere around there. But we'll see. I've got braking line on just to help me. Let's go. I'm going to go a little bit into try hard mode, so I'm not going to talk. Uh, whenever I have a bunch of corners in front of me here. This is a little bit different format than I used to do on Forza Rivalries. I used to basically pre-record commentary and races. But today, we're doing them live, baby. Live commentary for the win. I think that's what you guys like to see anyways. And you get to see my beautiful face. Are the Delta S4... It really is poised. It really is grippy. At times it feels twitchy, but it's really not. You think that it's more twitchy than it is, but it's a really, really stable and well-balanced car. Roll through that corner a little bit. Just a lift. No brakes. I have no assists on other than the braking line, and it's just there for visual reference. Oh, yeah. That was much better through there than the first time. Okay. Huge double apex corner here. Drop into third. Power down. I love that corner. I should have wound it a little bit further to the outside, though. I think I lost a little bit of time right there. E-brake to send it around. I know these cars don't have e-brakes or didn't have them in real life, but whatever. I've got the A button on my controller for a reason. All right, I love, love, love this car. It's a little bit bouncy, as you can tell here. For some reason, it's always been really bouncy in these games. The suspension is a little bit weird, but it's a really, really fast car. Send that one deep. There we go. We're actually coming close to the end here. There we go. 
Run wide through that little water bit so you don't get slowed down too much. And then talking about running wide, I want you to drive straight at the right flag here so the water doesn't slow the car down. We are moving, boys and girls. What's it going to be? Under 220? I think so. Oh, oh, 220 on the nose. It's all right, though. That's a good run. There you have it with the Lancia Delta S4. That was actually a really clean run, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to keep this recorded time of 2 minutes 20.574 and see how we can do in the Audi Sport Quattro S1. Let's go. Okay, so what we're going to do is the exact same thing as we did with the Lancia Delta S4. I'm not going to race my Ghost because I don't want to be chasing myself. I want to run this as basically a clean slate, like I, I didn't just set a time, to really see how competitive this is. Uh, just, of course, me against myself. You know, nothing on screen to chase. So let's select against Stonics. Again, sorry, pal. And we will jump in the Audi Sport Quattro S1. Again, A800 as was the Lancia. Talk about an absolute weapon on the rally trails. This car was fantastic and still is, honestly. In real life, it's one of the best sounding cars that I've ever heard. Okay, let's see if we can beat a two minute 20.5 in the Audi Sport Quattro S1. <sighs> Fingers crossed, here we go. All right, here we go. This may be a little bit more slick, I think, than the Lancia Delta S4. It's a little bit bigger, it's quite the pig. But it is so fast in a straight line. Yeah, braking line's a little bit earlier there. Whoa, it's a heavy, heavy car. She's a load. I think the Delta S4 is going to have the advantage just because of how much more nimble it is. But I can't be certain until we're done. Couple little lifts or throttle feathers here. Little tap of the e-brake on that one. I feel much more hesitant driving this car than I did the, de the Delta. Oh, but that was good right there. That was good. I think I picked up a lot of time. <clears throat> Let's run it a little bit wider. No, I didn't run it wider at all. So pretty much the same line through there as I had with the Delta S4. Third gear power down. Come on, baby. Less understeer in this car, I can tell you that. Which is evident by how much it has, uh, how much slide it has at the back. Again, I have no bias. I don't care which car wins. I just want to have a good video and a good race out of this. There we go. That was actually pretty decent. Run wide through here. Wide through here. And then really, really wide out here through this water. I think we're a little bit slower right now. This is going to be close, y'all. I took that way better right there. Oh, a little bit slower in the Audi Sport Quattro. Let's see. 2 minute 21.158 in the Audi Sport Quattro S1. Just about a half second slower. Really, really tight times, though. That was fun. All right, so I again, I, I think I had the times saved or remembered correctly, but we're going to find out right here. Let's find me and my friends. We have a 2 minute 20.574 and the Lancia Delta S4, and the Sport Quattro had a 221.1. So the Lancia Delta S4 wins this episode of Forza Rivalries. But that's not to say that the Audi Sport Quattro isn't fantastic because we all know that it's fantastic. That's going to do it for me today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, a positive comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe for more weekly content like this. Again, if you'd like to use either of these vehicles in my tunes, I will have those share codes down in the pinned comment and description below. 
Thanks so much for watching. As always, I have been Connor Speed Six. Until next time, much love, everyone. I'll see you soon.